I do care what you do with this information because it is important to our survival as a species. It's important to our planet. It is important for the world. Hi everybody, today is August 31st, 2013. Well, it looks like of all our allies, the only one that's with Obama is France. U.S. says world cannot let Assad get away with chemical attack. The first part of his article is all about Kerry's speech, which I posted in part. And it jumps down, it says, with France on Friday affirming its support for a military response to punish Assad's government. The statement from Obama and Kerry appeared to harden the resolve for a U.S. attack despite Thursday's British parliamentary no vote that left Washington without one of its closest allies. The timing of the attack, most likely with cruise missiles from U.S. Navy destroyers already stationed in the eastern Mediterranean, was uncertain, but it was unlikely to come before a U.N. weapons expert leaves Syria on Saturday. They have now left. It's been reported on mainstream media, but I believe they left a long time before that because of a radar tower communication with a UN plane that I picked up on Friday, I believe it was. Maybe it was Thursday. Anyways, the carry said that if a thug and a murderer like Bashar al-Assad can gas thousands of his own people with impunity, it would set a bad example for others, such as Iran, Hezbollah, and North Korea. You know, they're so fast to jump on the Syrian thing, but yet they didn't do anything about the Americans that were killed in Benghazi. Obama said chemical weapons attacks such as last week threatened U.S. national security interests as well as U.S. allies such as Israel, Turkey, and Jordan. So I have said before, and I mean what I said, that the world has an obligation to make sure that we maintain the norm against the use of chemical weapons, he said. Kerry laid out a raft of evidence, he said, showed Assad forces were behind the attacks and U.S. government released an unclassified intelligence report. At the same time, including many of the details, the report said the August 21st attack killed 1,429 Syrian civilians, including 426 children. The intelligence included an intercepted communication by a senior official ultimately familiar with the attack as well as other intelligence from people accounts and intercepted messages, the four-page report said. Four pages is not a lot of information, especially for how big they put the typing. It also says the timing of any strikes may be complicated by Obama's departure late on Tuesday for Sweden and a G20 summit in Russia. Well, he just might not go to those meetings in the summit. One, because it's a three-day national holiday and all the banks will be closed on Monday. Kerry and Obama were speaking the day after British Prime Minister David Cameron failed to win parliamentary backing for military action in Syria. Finance Minister George Osborne, one of Cameron's closest allies, accepted that the vote had raised questions about Britain's future relations with its allies. French President Francisco Hollande told the Daily Le Mans he still supported taking firm punitive action over an attack he said had caused irreparable harm to the Syrian people. Hollande is not constrained by the need for parliamentary approval of any move to intervene in Syria and could act before lawmakers debate the issue on Wednesday. So there's another date to watch. An official in his office said the French president spoke to Obama on Friday and they showed great determination about the crisis. Britain has traditionally been the United States' most reliable military ally. However, the defeat of the government motion authorizing a military response in principle underscored misgivings dating from how the country decided to join the U.S.-led invasion in Iraq in 2003. Russia, Assad's most powerful diplomatic ally, opposed any military intervention in Syria saying an attack would increase tensions and undermine the chances of ending the civil war. A senior foreign policy advisor to Russian President Vladimir Putin said the British vote represented majority opinion in Europe. Obama's friend, the Turkish Prime Minister Tepi Ergogan, said an intervention in Syria would be aimed at ending Assad's rule, a goal that Obama has ruled out. Analysis said there is little doubt about the message from Obama's administration. It would now be a shock if the U.S. government doesn't go to war, even if alone. Some allies, including Italy, have warned that military action without U.N. Security Council authorization may make matters worse. Diplomats said U.N. Secretary Ban Ki-moon told Security Council members 
that it may be two weeks before the final result of the test that the UN inspector gathered are ready. I'll give you a link if you want to read more. So sometime before Wednesday, probably definitely before Tuesday. Like I said, we got all the banks closed on Monday because of the Labor Day weekend. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep you up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.